Hello everybody, welcome back to the Vandal Hearts walkthrough. Alright, so we are in, I don't know, some strange dimension. Uh, unfortunately we had to just bury General Magnus. And Ash, Grog, and Sarah need to fight off these baddies. You know, I don't think there's anything hidden here. Let's just take a look here. Burp, burp, burp. No, I think we're good. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just gonna just gonna end the turn. Bring it on. Bring it on, sissies. Alright, so these are like flyers. Like whatever, right? Like like airmen type. Boom! <laughs> get it! Uh, level 8. Oh, yeah, they're really weak. Hmm. Yeah, they're gonna keep going after Grog, my guess is, because he's a swordsman. Probably would be a different story if it would have made Grog a dragoon. Probably would go after Sarah instead. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. So we, I really put in a lot of work um, to uh, early on, right, to to boost everybody up, and then. Oh, Jesus. They texted me. They always texted me. All right, um, but yeah, I put in a lot of work early on, you know, and um, it paid off. Although, <laughs> honestly, the. Uh, it would have been it would have been probably just as easy if I had well not just as easy it would have been easy as well to just do all of the work in the castle ruins you know and level up level up there but um, I actually actually had a lot of fun those early battles were especially like that battle on the bridge um, that was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun to to you know really stretch out the amount of experience actually I mean really all of those early battles. You know, to really kind of get as much experience out of them as I could. Challenging and, and at least somewhat rewarding. All right, anyways. Here he is, the mystery man. Ha-ha! So this is why the spirits were so noisy. Huh? You've destroyed the spirits? That was cruel. Those are the spirits of people who died young. They are harmless. Harmless? Are you crazy? Those things tried to bite our heads off drawn by the smell of blood. You people have the blood of many on your hands. Who are you? My name is Zohar, and I am just as you see me. I have been exploring the strange land for some time. Just south of here is this land's only town. You should visit it. Good luck, strangers. What a strange guy. Zohar, where have I heard that name before? In any case, let's go pay this town a visit. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna save. Remote city. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go to this remote remote city. Uh, these houses are really old looking. Not true. That house is ultra modern. You're both right. It's both old and new. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's go to the tavern. To the bartender. Uh, welcome, huh? Never seen you before. Ha! Huh. You must have some bad luck to material uh, materialize in this dimension. What are you talking about? Uh, this is a loophole in time. This is the town at the end of the world. Oh. Okay. Uh, the flow of time is not an absolute. It's more like the weather. Sometimes there are disturbances. I've seen birds and small dogs come through rips in time space. Okay. Most of the people who enter a warp just get spit out elsewhere, but some people wind up in this damn town like me. 
You want to leave this town? Simple. Exit this town and keep walking. The winds of time will take you somewhere, but you can't predict when and where you will appear. Well, that sounds not good. <laughs> Looks like we might be stuck here. A loophole in time. I have heard legends. The ship that was lost at sea and found ten years later in the desert with the ancient princess who vanished while strolling in the garden. But we've got to get back. Well, how would you like that? You're a, you're a princess and then boom, you're just probably ending up somewhere, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a trip. Anyways, alright, we've got to get back. We promised the general that we would stop hell and get the stone back. Are you referring to the magic stone? You're the guy from before. Yes, I am Zohar. If you don't mind, please tell me about this magic stone. Let's go to my home outside of town and talk of this. Let's do that. I see. You and your companions are trying to stop this man named Hell, but are you absolutely sure that's the right thing to do? Think about it. The generation before you gave up their lives to build an ideal society, and what was the end result? We've let the council turn into a den of thieves and liars. There will always be war, but by stopping Hell now, who is to say you won't be paving the way for someone even worse than him? <laughs> this is such a funny, um, I know this is gonna, this is totally a tangent, but I have to, I have, I can't resist. This is the, the, um, argument that I hear oftentimes about, you know, whether or not, like, let's just say, uh, the Demo Democrats, uh, in the United States should expand the Supreme Court, right? Because they're like, well, but, but, you know, Republicans will just expand it later, you know, but it's like, oh, okay, wait, so, so then we should just shouldn't do anything now and let these, you know, whatever problems uh, uh kind of play out no like <laughs> do it <laughs> you've got a problem solve it uh anyways uh yeah it's, normally i don't get you know political at all but it is funny that this argument is is i, I just i've heard it a, a hundred times now uh won't be uh yeah for won't be paving the way for someone else even more than um oops oh crap did i just i don't know maybe you're right Oh, and there I just screwed up my controller like a billion times. Jesus. This thing. The spot where it connects to my, con like uh, the USB connects to the controller is always like disconnecting. And it's really, really annoying. Really super annoying. Alright, let's try this again but a brief peace is better than war I can't sit and do nothing when I know that people are going to die hmm I suppose it's the struggle that lends dignity to our lives it's decided I will help you in your brave mission yeah boy so how can we there's only one way to get back to your time. First, we have to go back to the exact spot where you first arrived. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. All right. Zohar is already level 14. And he is a mage. Oh, he's got a mage gem even. Restores 10 MP. That's a lot of MP. Let's move one of these mage oils over to Zohar. And let's move this mage gem to Ash. I don't know if I really need to do that, but um but yeah, I'm going to. 
All right, so I'm going to. I think we can we can just up or uh, uh, change Zohar's class right away. So let's do that. Yeah, he starts out as a basic mage, and you can go obviously Sork or Monk. I'm just gonna see his Monk really quickly. I'm not actually gonna make him a Monk because Monks are junk. But no, I'm just kidding. They're not junk. I just don't. Uh, I don't prefer them. So let's see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Alright, uh, but this is what I'm going to go with, the sorcerer. And, um... Hopefully in this battle, I will be able to... use Zohar, uh, or you basically use an item from Zohar onto one of the higher level characters. And thus, level him up. You know quite a bit so we'll see um it probably i don't know it probably wouldn't be the worst idea to to buy some gear well it looks like this is the same stuff as before yeah it must be uh. You know, I never really thought about this before, too, but alright, so like these staves. I don't think these affect the magic, like magic damage. I think this is literally just your melee damage. Which, I mean, honestly, these are like junk. Because your, your casters shouldn't be in melee, for one thing. And the amount of money, like if you want to try to cut the, well, yeah, if you want to cut costs, don't buy, I would probably don't buy staffs, right? Because they're not going to do much for you anyway. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about that before. Whereas, like, armor. Armor is, like, a solid investment, I think, probably all around, right? And what is... Yeah, let's just check what Zohar has for armor. The only thing that, like, right now I'm a little worried about Zohar's armor. He's got a Master Robe and an Iron... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's as best as you can do. Okay. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Uh, there's... There's nothing that, uh, nothing else that we can do, I don't think. Uh, yeah. All right, so let's go back to the Plain of Sorrow. Let's go harvest some sorrow here. Hmm. Preparations are complete. The space-time warp you entered was caused by a powerful magic source. This type of force always creates a counter force. These mage towers will gather the force and recreate the warp. Okay, very cool. I sense something. Spidey senses are tingling. Not these creeps again. Spirits will drain the tower's energy. I suppose we have no choice. We must protect the towers. If, that's, if this doesn't work now, you'll never get back home. Alright, defend the towers for t five turns. And the defeat is uh, the death of Ash or the towers. Alright, so this battle is kind of interesting. Uh, and you can decide to do it a couple of different ways. I am going to try to defend everything. Just just because. I think I can. Um, we'll see if <laughs> we'll see if I'm right or not. But, um... I think you can also, like, place your character st strategically so that... Um, man, I'm just trying to think what's... What, what do I have to do to make sure... Right, let's see here. So this guy can't... This guy can't attack any of the towers on the first turn, so I don't need to worry about him that much. This guy I do, though. Yeah, this guy can attack a couple. Um, but I also kind of want these guys to attack me if they can so that I just automatically wipe them out on like the following turn so let's just see here oh, I can't get that far Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know if they're... I don't know if they'll even, like, attack me either. Like, action magic. Okay, I can phase shift these first two, I think. Ah, oh, crap. I need to, I need to take two steps back. Yeah, there we go. So now I should, should catch everything in this. Well, I should, I should say, I should catch these two enemies. We'll see if this wipes them out, though. Boom! Yes, sir! Wow, that was like a full level, too. Alright, um... Now... I could move Grog over here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna move Grog over. Shoot. It's actually not where I want it to go, but... Hang on a second. Save state. Just in case it's type of friends. Okay, we're good. Unfortunately, I can't take this guy out though. Holy pressure? Nope. All right. Okay, that's it for the first turn. But now everything should be safe. So you lose a hundred you lose a hundred gold uh, for each of these towers that gets destroyed. The key, though, here is I want to. I want these guys to attack me every turn, but I don't know if that's how it's going to work. Oh, that one did. Because if you can get them to attack you every turn, you can take them out that turn as well, right? Yeah, look at this. See, like that, that spot that Ash is in is pretty much perfect. Oh! Nikes, that sucks. Ah, that's all right though. I want. It would have been nice to kill this thing that turn because um, then I could heal him. But Ash isn't really. You know, he hasn't. He hasn't really lost much for health anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Um, Sarah is gonna move right here, and Holy Pressure should take out both of these guys. Get it. Boom. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think that's it. Right? Yeah, everybody's. Oh no, I'm sorry. Zohar never even took a turn. Or didn't even need to do anything. Let's move him over here. Probably shouldn't be having him turn us back to the enemies, but. I think he'll be okay. And I actually also probably don't really want him to get attacked every turn. I probably want him just out of range so that, you know, the enemy will be forced to come towards him and then I can just nuke them. But if I need to adjust, I will do so. <laughs> Yeah, I could probably just move him a little, like a, move him a little bit. Oh man, look at that, he's even taking dudes out, like melee. And then Ash will get attacked. Boom! Yeah, this is working out really well. When will the warp open up? Just a little longer. Okay, um, I'm gonna move Zohar up. He's pro he was probably fine where he was, but um, and let's heal Ash. Yeah, 
Looks like we're good. Oh! <laughs> I can just heal. Heal with Sarah. I can heal everybody. I forgot about that. God, that's so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> with Supreme Healing, because she just heals everything. Or she heals everybody no matter where they're standing. So like legit again if if you have pro you know if you have problems with this level too you don't need to try to defend all four you can actually just have all of your characters group up around one of the towers so that the enemies literally can't touch it and uh, and take everything out but you know up to you on uh, if you want to do that or not. Now the other thing I wanna I really wanna make sure here is that or I'd I'd like to use an item from Zohar onto ideally Sarah so that he you know levels up here. Let's let's do that. Let's do that this turn actually. Alright, so I'm gonna use Supreme Healing here. Oh, she, she even hits the towers. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> Any day now. Wow. Yeah, that really messes the... Uh, messes with the audio. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use a mage gem or a mage oil. Gem seems like overkill. Let's see how much this does, though. Or, like, I should say, let's see how much experience he gets for this. Again, I think this is actually overkill, but... 984. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's see how much the oil does. <coughs> Okay, same amount, yeah. No reason to use the gem. Alright. Yeah, that was, that was like nine. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. That was ten levels. He went from 15 to 25. Alright, well. Good enough. That's nuts. Snarf. Oh, blocked. Get blocked. Turkey. You boom. <laughs> All right. That's no good. Alright, we need to step it up. Let's try oh yeah, let's try a piercing ray. Nope. Phase shift it is. Make it holy. <laughs> Boom. Turn over. This should be it. 
And now, I don't know when the battle actually ends, but that is why I wanted to, to, to do this. I wanted everybody to get attacked and hopefully we'll kill these guys too. Because I think it's going to end. So, um, this should be like the most, like, sparkies you can possibly kill for this battle. As long as I don't get blocked. Like, if I get blocked here, um, that would be a problem. But we'll see. Alright, Big Zohar, come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. Don't fail me now. Don't let him block. A boom! Alright, so this should be it. <clears throat> yep, that's that. So, you need to, if you want to kill everything you can possibly do, you basically need to do it just like that. Um, you need to take the Sparkies out, you know, the turn that they, that they come in on. Because, like, if I wasn't able to kill those four that spawned at the end, the battle's just done anyway. So, um, again, this looks like this is the most you could possibly get. So, this was 2, 4, 6, 8 times 3 is 24. That was 25 of those Sparkies. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of cash. Now, again, also, you know, if you're doing this on level, that's probably not... That's probably not how it's going to play out. You're probably not going to be able to, you know, counterattack and kill every single round like I just did, but... That is how to do it. Uh, the warp will open any moment now. Here we go, boys and girls. <laughs> there it is. Everyone jump in. Hey, get on, get on in there. Alrighty. This looks fun. Zoot. Hey! Blast from the past. Zoot Gatch. Give up, traitors. You're surrounded. Zoot Gatch, you slime bag. You work for the Empire now, but you're still just a petty thief. The Empire has hired criminals to swell the ranks of the army. Now these scoundrels steal from the innocent under the protection of the Empire. It is a sad sight to behold. I was foolish enough to trust Dolph. Don't blame yourself, we all fell for it. What's the delay? The villagers in this area are all rebel sympathizers anyway. Torch it will burn all these villages to the ground. Not while I'm alive, you won't. That's double for me. I don't stand a chance, but let's take as many of them with us as we can. I mean... Surprise! Where are we? Looks like we made it back. Can't believe it, it's Ash. It can't be, is it really you? Clive, my friend. Diego. What the? Where did they come from? <laughs> Through a portal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now we can turn things around. Ash, they're Hell's Boys. Let's show them the old crunch play. The crunch play, huh? Okay. I believe it's called a pincer maneuver, but... I guess they've got some sort of inside lingo that I'm not <laughs> familiar with. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright, so we've got a secret right here. Uh, let's see what else have we got. Oh, one right here too, right? Yeah, right there. Got some chests. So we're gonna need to push these blocks over. And... Another chest over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's... What's the best way to do this? Let's just move up. Rolling 
fire. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, level, or sorry, change Zohar's class, so he's still only got the sorcerer spells right now, but I think we're going to be okay. Let's go. Um, ah, his movement stinks. Okay, this will work. Get a piece of these guys. I really don't want to take damage from that bat. I mean, Sarah can uh, cure any poison that I might get, but. Oh, got him anyway. Alright, good deal. Alright, so I'm gonna move her over and grab this right away. Actually, I probably should have grabbed that with Zohar now that I think about it. That was probably, yeah. It would have been smarter to do it that way, but that's okay. Oh no, then I wouldn't have been able to to catch everything, because he wouldn't have had as much movement, right? Because he would have wasted basically two movement back and forth there. Anyways, alright, let's let's go up here. Um, okay, well if I leave that if I leave that boulder there I can stick Dolan over here. Can I control Clive? Nope. He's just in it. Okay, that's a shame. Oh well. Um... I don't think I'm going to be able to hit anybody with Diego, but... Oh my god, look at that range! From downtown! <laughs> so good. I love snipers. Just so freaking good. Alright, let's... Kick that over. Kick that over. Oh! Yeah, I mean, and I can I can heal with Huxley, uh, you know, anywhere. So <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's overpowered. I mean, that's what happens when you're you know whatever level twenty five at this point in the game or twenty eight. Get it? Oh, get one shot. Yeah, I mean the fact that the priests are one shotting. With air, air units, it's kind of nuts too. Boom. Yeah, boy, uh, setting this up worked really well too. Like, I don't know if in that previous battle I would have been able to kill as many Sparkies if I would have made Grog a Dragoon, right? Because I don't think he would have been able to cover as much ground and get to that spot, but who knows, I could be wrong. It, it might have been alright. But, anyways, everything was working out pretty well, I'd say. Ooh. It's got range. Rainbow stroke, I'm having a stroke. Oof. Look at this guy. <laughs> All right. Well, um, oh, I don't want Clive going way over here. Wow! Look at that range. Jesus. Oh no! taking that bat out, because now I'm worried that Clive is going to get poisoned. And that would suck. That would suck balls. <laughs> getting tired. Getting weird. Alright. Let's get him with the ultra. Ultra heal. Get him with 
the phase shift. Do something cool, do something cool. Come on. Boom. Boom. It's actually pretty weak. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Who am I most concerned about? Oh, Ash has got some spells, right? Oh, 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 oh. Magic. Blue fire. Uh. All right, let's take take a couple of steps ahead at least. Actually, let's go right here. I should take them both out, I think. <laughs> yeah, not getting any experience still because I am. Um... Yeah, I'm too old. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah, that is that. Um, Zohar can probably paralyze something here. <laughs> oh, look at this guy! <laughs> Funk? No poison, no poison! Actually, it didn't really matter that much. Even if he did. Pretty weak, Clive. Oh, he's stroking out! Ooh, oh, 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 my brain! Not good, not good, not good. Alright. Look at this little guy! Let's, uh, man, I gotta make sure that once his face doesn't, uh, oh, no poison, no poison, I, oh, it paralyzes, ooh, that's gross, well, that's actually not the worst thing ever, all right, let's, what's the victory conditions, oh, just everything, okay, so I, it, I can actually kill Zoot and not worry, I can actually probably kill everything other than that deacon, because the deacon will probably keep trying to heal people, right? Let's uh, let's take this bat out, though. Oh, boom! <laughs> Man, that axe is just ridiculous. Love it. You know what, I'm just going to use Supreme. This is going to be a little annoying because it's going to hit everybody, but... And I don't really need it that bad, but... Man, man look at that. I think Dolan... Dolan as the Dragoon might be the coolest. Yeah, it, I think it's the coolest in the game. Like, well, I don't know. I'm really tempted to say that that's the case. His shield's not too ridiculous. I mean, it's it's kind of excessive, but it also does look pretty cool, right? Whereas, like, look at when Grog's shield looks dumb. I and mean, that looks, I don't know, it looks like a like a slide, just strapped to his arm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh. But yeah, anyways, Dolan looks amazing. Whoever did the design for that character is just... Did an amazing job. Alright, let's do... Holy pressure! Get him, get him, get him! Take him! Nope. Let's see... Can we do a phase shift from here? Yep! I'm gonna leave that deacon alive still, although I gotta be really careful here that he doesn't 
A, get taken out by somebody, and B, he's got to have enough magic left to actually heal. Because if he doesn't have enough magic left to heal, he'll probably try to kill somebody, like with a melee attack. And I don't want to do that. Let's freaking crush this turn. Eat it. Gatch! He really just say it, said his last name as his, like, death cry? Okay. I think it's just this, right? Yeah. Oh, how am I gonna get over there? That's so far. Ugh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll take Ash over there. I may need to paralyze this deacon. I just don't know how much health he's got left. Boom! Meh. Pretty weak, friend. Pretty weak. He's got a little bit of health left, or uh, magic left, at least if he's healing himself. That guy's taking advantage of the, uh, <laughs> the experience, uh, the way the ex experience works. It actually is kind of funny. So in some games, um, well, like, tact f like Final Fantasy Tactics, the enemies will actually gain levels, um, you know, if they, if they continue to take actions. Whereas in this game, they won't. Like, it doesn't matter what any of these guys do, they never gain levels. Alright, I'm gonna... gonna save here. Um... So I don't want to take out that... healer. He's not even gonna, not even gonna attack me. He knows. He knows. He knows. There's no reason. No. Oh, look at that. Boom. Elixir. <laughs> Pretty lame. Okay. Uh, I think that was it, right? Uh, I got this secret over here. I got the one that Grog is standing at now. So I can just take this guy out. Um, you know, if you want to, this is another one of those levels that you could, you know, spend time, like, leveling in. And actually, this would have been a better level to... Yeah, I did everything right. Yeah, this would have been a better level to um, level Zohar in. I just got really lucky with that that last one, or whatever. I, I guess I just did that. I did that level. <laughs> I did it so well, right? Um, that, uh, that it wasn't a problem, but yeah, this would have been a safer level to to level Zohar in. All right, that's that. Pretty easy, obviously. Again, we're super over leveled, so nothing's really that much of a challenge. But um, okay. Commander Clive, well met. Ash, beyond hope. But where have you been these past three miserable years? Three years? I've only been gone one day. The truth is, we're lucky to have come this close. We might have easily been off by 20 years or more. It can't be true. Let's go back to the village and talk it out. Yeah, let's do that. Man, that would be a trip, huh? Coming back uh, three years, <laughs> basically time passing three years in a single day. Oosh. So that's what happened while I've been gone. Many good people want to resist Emperor Hell, but all of their leaders have been either executed or exiled. If only we could bring everyone under the same banner. Oh my. Let's do it. We'll set off some fireworks that will rouse the resistance from sleep. Fireworks, huh? What's the plan? will storm the Imperial prison. <laughs> the one that they brag is impenetrable? Yeah, that one. It would be a great victory for the rebels. That's where they hold the political prisoners. If we could free them, we might finally be able to organize ourselves. 
Clint, Lenny, and Amon are being held there too. Well, oh, that's the wrong, uh, there. You spelt that wrong, buddy. It's supposed to be T-H-E-R-E. -E. Anyways, all right. It's perfect. Two birds with one stone. I think we should try it. I, I agree. This sounds fun. I'll lead the troops during the actual attack. Clive, I want you to start trying to galvanize the resistance. I understand. Things are just starting to get interesting. Yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, let's see, where are we at for time here? I, yep, you know, yeah, okay, let's, let's just take a look here, what do we have for items? I don't want to, uh, I don't want to prepare for the next battle in the next video, I want to just knock it out now. Um, I don't think I need to put that on. Okay, let's put that on Diego. Huxley, Grog, Hope oh, Grog. So these gold coins, I think these are just for selling. Um, and I probably should or could do that. I don't know what. The unicorn, I think, is in it. It's a usable item. Yeah, attack magic and it casts a rainbow storm. I'll probably just end up selling that. I just don't really feel like I need it. Or to use it as an item anyway. Weapon or... Yeah, okay. Um, could probably sell that elixir too. Oh, let's go to the dojo. Jeez. We want to advance with Zohar. All right. Advance to this class. Yes, please. All right. <sighs> there he is. Zohar the Enchanter. And man, that looks pretty great. Okay. Uh, let's leave. Keep the faith. Why don't you make me? Why don't you make me keep the faith? Uh, I think I'm going to continue to not buy anything. Um, rare and expensive antique coins. Iron boot, unicorn. Man, I have a lot of freaking money now. <laughs> I've done the last, you know... Well, I got, what was like, 10,000 gold just from that battle with all the Sparkies? Like, that was that was nuts. But, alright, um, I think I'm all ready for the next battle, so I'm going to cut this video here. Uh, as always, though, I uh, hope the guide was helpful, and join me for more. Thank you for watching.